Praise God. We're going to be praying concerning the seven days of glory. 2024. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're not just praying, wishing it to happen. We are declaring what they said. You shall declare it. It shall be established for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God gave me seven things that's going to happen to us for the seven days of glory. Seven things that will happen for us for the seven days of glory. You can sit down for a few minutes. But as you are seated, we are going to be praying. Hallelujah. Praise God. The first thing is we are going to receive expanded understanding. Proverbs chapter, Proverbs chapter 2 verse 2. Expanded under, The Lord will expand our understanding. Beyond in, uh, the, the understanding of a mere man. Beyond the understanding of our colleague. Beyond the understanding of where we came from or where we grew up in. And the atmosphere we grew up in. Beyond the understanding of Nigerians. God is going to expand our understanding to see what he's seen. Hallelujah. He says, tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. He says, making your ear attentive to skillful and godly wisdom. So the kind of understanding you're going to be receiving during the seven days of glory will be one that will impart to you a skillful and godly wisdom. In other words, you become skillful and you become godly in your decisions. And inclining and directing, and it's going to be inclining and directing your heart and mind to understanding. Applying all your powers to the quest for it. Hallelujah. That is our portion during the seven days of glory. Philippians 3.10. Philippians 3.10. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For my determined purpose is that I may know him, that I might progressively become more deeply and intimately acquainted with him. Perceiving and recognizing. That is, under, that is one of the things you need to have an expanded understanding. To be able to perceive God and to recognize what God is saying and to be able to identify the areas of your life in, with it. Not passing it to other people and saying, oh, that word belongs to somebody. Perceiving and recognizing and understanding the wonders of his person more strongly and more clearly than ever before. And that we may that I may in that same way come to know the power outflowing from his resurrection, which it exerts over believers, and that I may so share his sufferings to be continually transformed in, in spirit into his likeness, even to his death in the, the hope, in the name of Jesus. This is our portion during the seven days of glory. Exodus 31 verse 3. Can I get a believer receiving amen? amen. Hallelujah. He says, I have filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom and an ability and in understanding. I prophesy that during the seven days of glory 2024, we are decreeing that we will be filled with the spirit of God and the spirit of God will express through us wisdom, ability, understanding and intelligence. And we will have unusual knowledge in all kinds of craftsmanship. In the name of Jesus. Can we speak in tongues right there? I say in the name of Jesus. This atmosphere is filled with the spirit of God. In wisdom and ability in understanding and intelligence and in knowledge and in all kinds of craftsmanship in the name of Jesus we decree over this atmosphere that we are filled with him we are filled with the spirit of God in wisdom in ability in understanding in intelligence and in knowledge and in all kinds of craftsmanship we will not remain the same in Jesus name we have declared Psalm 119 verse 99. Hallelujah. He says, I have better understanding and deeper insight than all my teachers because your testimonies are my meditation. We are going to decree and declare that over the of glory 2024 that started on Monday according to the word of the Lord in Psalm 119 verse 99 that we have better understanding and deeper insight than all those who have gone ahead of us in the name of Jesus because the word of the Lord is our meditation we will not struggle with the word that is going to be preached this atmosphere will, is conducive to receive better understanding and deeper insight say my life will reflect deep, better understanding and deeper insight than all that have gone ahead of me because the word of the Lord has become my meditation. That is a portion of my children in the name of Jesus. Number two thing that's going to happen for us during the seven days of glory, out of many other things, is restoration. The Bible says he will restore to you all 
the years that the canker worm and the caterpillar has eaten. Father, we decree in the name of Jesus over the seven days of glory 2020 that in the name of Jesus we receive restoration on, in every area of our life. That everywhere the devil and everything that the devil has stolen, let there be restoration. Let there be restoration in the name of Jesus. The Lord is restoring us on in every way possible. He's restoring our minds. He's restoring our relationships. He's restoring our finances. He's restoring our health. He's restoring us in the name of Jesus. Say we receive restoration in every area of our life. And what the enemy stole for not for most when we were young. What the enemy for most when we did not know ourselves, when we did not have understanding. Let it be restored in the name of Jesus. In every area of our life, in our mind, in our bodies, in our career, in every area of our lives, in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, we receive restoration. Psalm 51 verse 12. Hallelujah. Say, restore to me the joy of your salvation. And uphold me with the willing spirit. Say, I decree and declare. By the, I can't hear your voice. Is it because you are sitting down? I decree and declare. By the power in the name of Jesus. And over the seven days of glory, 2024. That is starting on Monday according to the word of the Lord to us in this church. That the Lord restore to us the joy of our salvation. Every spirit of weariness. Every spirit that weighs down. Every spirit. Every hand that is hanging down. Every feeble knee. Every mind that is broken. Every spirit that is broken. We re receive restoration. As people come in into this atmosphere. Let them be restored in their body. In their mind. In every They receive a willing spirit. We receive a willing spirit over the seven days of glory 2024. Master, tell you, Baba, 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Everyone in Bastille's situation, they are restored. Hey, Talia Gabosa, tell you, Baba, 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 Everyone that is wounded. Everyone that is wounded, everyone that is broken, everyone with a broken spirit, let them be restored in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is in depression, let them be restored. Let their minds and their hearts be put together. Let the peace of God that transcends all human understanding put their hearts and minds together. Everyone that have lost people, that have lost relationships, let them be restored. Right there. In Jesus' name, we have declared. First Peter five ten. We receive restoration in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who imparts all blessing and favor, who has called you to his own eternal glory in Christ Jesus, will himself, himself, complete and make you what you ought to be. He will establish us during the seven days of glory. And he will complete and make us what we ought to be. And we will be established and we will be grounded securely. And he will strengthen and he will settle us. Say this is our portion according to the word of the Lord. In 1 Peter 5, 10, that the Lord will complete us and make us what we ought to be. Not what we want to be, but what we ought to be. In the name of Jesus, what we ought to be. We receive the, the grace during the seven days of glory. We will be completed and we will be made what we ought to be. We will be established and we will be grounded securely and strengthened and the Lord will settle us. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have declared. George, Joel chapter 2 verse 23. Hallelujah. We will receive restoration. He says, but be glad, you children of Zion, and in the Lord your God. For he gives you the former or early rain in just measure and in righteousness. He causes to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain as before. 
Verse 24, hallelujah. And the threshing floor shall be full of grain. And the vast shall overflow with juice of. In other words, the Lord will restore to us prosperity. Hey, everywhere we have lost. Everything we have lost. Whether financial, whether material, whether resources, whether it's a gift. Let us receive restoration. We decree over the seven days of glory 2024. We receive total restoration in our prosperity. Can you turn it to tongues this morning? Turn it to tongues. Shut up. In Jesus' name, we have declared. And in the seven days of glory, one of the things that the Lord will be doing is that He's going to be restoring our health. Amen. Jeremiah 30 17. He says, I'm going to restore your health. For I will restore health to you, and I will heal all your wounds, says the Lord, because they have called you an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no one seeks after, and for, no, for whom no one cares. We decree over the seven days of glory, and using your life as a point of contact. Can you use your life as a point of contact this morning? I say, Lord, I, re- I receive restoration of health. Over my family, over my children, over my husband, over my wife. In every area of my life, I receive restoration over my family members. Restore health back to us in the name of Jesus. And heal all our wounds. As people come in, they receive healing in the name of Jesus. This atmosphere is charged with the anointing for healing. In Jesus' name, we have declared. Can I get a believer receiving? Amen. Yeah. The another thing we are going to be experiencing during the seven days of glory is guidance. The Lord is going to guide us. Psalm 32, verse 8. Hallelujah. No more confusion. The Lord will give us forth. I, the Lord, will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. And I will do what? I will counsel you with my eye upon you. So we receive this for the seven days of glory 2024. That the Lord himself will instruct us. People will not preach from their mind. They will preach from their spirit. Everyone ministry will minister from their spirit. In the name of Jesus, every prayer will be led by the spirit of God. He will instruct us. Everything will minister grace. Shut up. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. And the Lord himself will counsel you with his eye. That is our portion during the seven days of glory 2024. Can you please lift your voice? Can you please lift your voice? This is serious business this morning. Can you please give God some intensity this morning? Can you just borrow God your voice? Can you borrow God your voice? Can you borrow God and allow the Holy Ghost to move in this place? Can you lift that voice and make a decree in the spirit? glory 2024 that the lord himself will instruct us and he will guide us he will teach us it will not be man-led but spirit-led 
Proverbs 16, verse 9, in all ramifications of the services, a man's man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps and makes them sure. We decree that in the name of Jesus, every prayer we pray during the seven days of glory 2024, the Lord will make it sure. Amen. Hey, can you borrow your, God your voice this morning? Can you give God an offering of your voice this morning? The Lord will make it sure. The Lord makes it sure. Every prayer, according to the word of the Lord, the Lord makes it sure. He puts his seal of approval. The seal of approval. We will not gather in vain. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have declared. Isaiah 58 verse 11. This is the word of the Lord for the seven days of glory 2024. And the Lord shall guide us continually. And satisfy us even in this season that Nigeria is in drought. And in dry places and make strong our bones. We we, we shall be and we are like a well watered garden because of the seven days of glory we shall be like a well watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not that is the word of the Lord concerning the seven days of glory we are like we shall be like a watered garden like a spring of water whose waters fail not can you borrow your God your voice can you lift it up and pray with intensity and say thank God because during the seven days of glory 2024 we received continual guidance continual guidance and you will satisfy us you will satisfy us in the dry places of our lives you are making our bones strong you are making our lives stronger than we were before In Jesus' name we are praying. The spirit of faith will be released. The spirit of faith. Hallelujah. Faith has a spirit. The spirit of faith is will be evident. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians 4 13. Second Corinthians 4 13. 13. He said, Yes, we have the same spirit of faith as he had who wrote, I have believed and therefore I have spoken. We too believe and therefore we speak. In the name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of doubt. We bind the spirit of unbelief. Declare, can you lift your hands and give him thanks for all he will do and all he has done?